Now we've played with multiple buttons with scanning. So if you wanted to reset it, you'd want to hit this reset button. On the other copier I work, it was working on, the reset button was on the panel. Just really depends what model that you have. And then same thing here. You can see there's a program button up here. So if you had an example of a two-sided document where you had to do it a special way with lots of different uh, settings that you needed, you could set it up, test it, scan it, and after that, just like we did with the copy program, you could pick a button that's not registered and you could register it and name it whatever job you needed. So that function exists for both copy and for scanning. Now, let me show you how to add more emails to this in case you have a new person or, or someone that needs to be added. What you would do is hit the main menu, whether here or on your screen, if it's on your screen on your model. You would go to address book, and then you could click new, and address type, you could select email, and then this is where you'd put the person's name. It's going to automatically index them for the first letter of their first name. This is where you type in their email address. And then if you want them to show up as a favorite, this is the most important part. You have to click favorite. And then you would click register. I'll go ahead and do that, and then I'll delete it after. So close out of the address book. Now you can see I've added someone, technically speaking, with the name hi. Now if I wanted to delete someone, let's say, the person here has left, the organization is no longer here. We can hit menu. We would go back to our address book. You can see both names that are in the current address book. You would highlight the person that left and you could simply delete them right out of that address book.